With the unknown future surrounding Cedar Point's top throw dragster, I wanted to share two ideas with you regarding what I think Cedar Point should do. Now we know that dragster will reopen again one day, and we know there will be some major changes to the layout, but is this the right move for Cedar Point? Would having Intamin or another company like Zamperla or Premier come in and reimagine the 420 foot tall Stratocoaster be considered the right move? Or what if they would replace Top Throw Dragster altogether with a new record breaking coaster? If so, which type of coaster? More on that in a second. For over the last two years now, at the end of every video, I share a phrase that has since transpired into motivation for a lot of you, including myself. And I'm very excited to announce that I now offer posters, shirts, and other items showcasing Remember to Smile Today, Think Positive, and Keep Riding Coasters. Not only does this merch look cool, in my opinion, it's also a daily reminder reminder for you to always keep going. Think positive because I know everyone struggles in life and I really do hope that my videos help you remember to think positive and keep going because you got this and of course keep riding coasters. So check out themeparkmerch.com to check out all of my coaster merch. So my first idea, which we now know will not happen on the Draxter plot of land, but it's something fun to at least think about. Back in the spring, when I was predicting that the coaster could get removed altogether, I started looking at Google Maps of the area around Draxter to see if there's any way to fit the world's tallest, fastest, and longest B&M Giga Coaster. And sure enough, after multiple tries, I came up with this. This is when I knew that I wanted to see how my creation could work and fit in with the surrounding areas of Cedar Point. So I gave my friends from Escape Designs a call and told them what I was thinking. And later that night, we already had some preliminary designs. You are looking at a Giga Coaster that would take the best elements from Fury 325, Orion, and Leviathan to bring a high capacity and reliable coaster to Cedar Point. This Giga would make Ohio home to the longest wood coaster and steel coaster in North America. That is how large this ride would be. And with the issues that Millennium, Maverick, and Steel Vengeance have all had, Cedar Point could really benefit from something that would not suffer from a lot of downtime. Introducing Monstrosity, the world's best roller coaster. The Giga Station would start off basically where Draxters is now, and the lift hill would top out at 355 feet. The first drop would be 347 feet, and the total track length for Monstrosity would be 7,230 feet, offering a total ride time from the first drop to the brakes of 62 seconds. Another staggering fact about this design is that it would feature 8 elements over 100 feet tall. Not to mention, but you would also experience some low to the ground turns, airtime hills, and a very unique turnaround that would be located in Frontier Town. As you can see here, this layout would cover a lot of ground and interact with Millennium Force, Cedar Point's other Giga Coaster. Now you might think adding another Giga is repetitive and does not make any sense, but parks do this all the time. For example, Cerro San Diego just announced Arctic Blast, which is a family multi-launch coaster. And this is when the park already had Manta, another multi-launch family coaster. And besides, the layout of this coaster and Millennium are totally different and one train seats four riders across while the other only seats two. So really, this would work and you and the general public would absolutely love this coaster. Now a few things to note about this layout. It would offer enough clearance for Snake River Expedition to operate and we would not have to see any other coasters or rides get removed. If Cedar Point would have done this, I think that this would have been probably the best possible replacement for Top Door Dragster. Now I know you're thinking, why not make this over 400 feet? And the reason why is there honestly is not enough room. We pulled the measurements and said Sadly, for a traditional B&M Giga lift hill and drop of this size, it would not fit in this area, so this is the tallest that we could have made this coaster. If B&M would ever adapt to a twisted first drop, then there would have been room. But going off of what we know B&M likes to do, this is as tall as we could have made it. With all that being said, and how much I love this Giga design, if I was Cedar Point, I would first look at ways to keep Top Door Dragster intact. But 
Given this unique opportunity for the park, I would take a lot of time to look at ways to enhance the rider's experience. And the two biggest complaints with Top Toe Dragster is that it's too short, 17 seconds long, and it's very unreliable. Now, whether that's maintenance or high winds, it's very questionable if Top Toe Dragster will be operating the day that you visit Cedar Point. And all those are factual things. So, I would have Intamin come in and add their latest LSMs to the coaster. That's the first thing that I would do. I would also shift around the budget for the park's next coaster and use most of that money for the reimagined Dragster. And then once Dragster reopens, start planning the park's next coaster to open in two to three to four years afterwards. And with Dragster, in my opinion, extending the layout is a no-brainer here. And first up, I would add a swing launch. This way, riders would always get their rollback and then offer a vertical twisted spike to pay homage to Wicked Twister. I would see if there's enough room here to make the vertical spike reach at least 500 feet. For marketability's sake, this would be epic if it was possible. And realistically, this coaster would only have to be 457 feet tall if the park wanted to take the record from Keen to Ka. But in my dream scenario, I really feel as if 500 feet could work work. Since capacity will obviously be a major concern with this coaster, I would offer trains again, if possible, that seat 24 riders. This would then allow four more riders per train than Dragster holds now, and I would offer a single rider line, that way no seat is left empty. The fastest launch will be the backwards one that would lead into the vertical spike. And to get the train to reach near the top of the spike, I would guess that the speed would have to be around 130 miles an hour or more with this launch. Once the train falls back to earth, riders will reach a high enough speed for the train to go over the top hat every single time. But another benefit of my design is riders will always get the rollback before the train fully launches over the top hat. Just an added bonus. And now, this is when things start to get really interesting, because after the top hat, I would offer a few inversions and airtime hills, as you see here, to make this coaster a one-of-a-kind thrill machine. Now, the first thing you're going to criticize me on is capacity. I get that. But one way around it would be offering four trains at least, with 24 riders each. And then, when the train leaves the station, there would be a switch track that would transport the train over to the swing launch. Once that happens, the other train would move into the waiting area, allowing ride operators to load the next train. After the coaster is over, riders would exit the train and then the empty train would advance into the loading area. Obviously, this would probably never happen, but it's fun to think about and the roller coaster community needs to lighten up a little bit here and just enjoy the speculation and everyone's thoughts about this project. So which of my ideas do you like best? The B&M Giga or the Extended Dragster? Be sure to let me know in the comments. I, for one, am very excited that Top Toe Dragster is staying in some way, and I cannot wait to see and hear what Cedar Point has planned. And with that, as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.